For President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Justice and Development Party, known as the AK Party in Turkey, reconnecting with the Ottoman era has been central to their messaging. Kültürün her alanında birikimimizi sahiplenecek, değerlerimizi yaşatacak çalışmaları ön plana çıkarmalı ve desteklemeliyiz. In his more than 15 years in power, Erdogan has pushed a notion of continuity, drawing a line from the Ottoman sultans through to himself. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti tıpkı daha önceki devletlerimizin birbirlerinin devamı olduğu gibi Osmanlı'nın devamıdır. Erdogan has done that while locking up his critics in the news media, transforming Turkey into one of the world's leading jailers of journalists. Scores of academics and dissidents have been imprisoned as well. Amidst all of that, the TV dramas Dirilish Arturul and a spin-off Paytat Abdul Hamid, both of which were commissioned by Turkey's state broadcaster TRT, have aligned nicely with the AKP's communication strategy. For audiences cynical both of Erdogan and of Turkey's role in the region, the comparisons between Ottoman TV heroes and the Turkish president not only fall flat, they're seen as a not so subtle flexing of muscles, a signal that Turkey can, through its cultural exports, try to soften public sentiment that has undeniably hardened across a number of Arab nations, not least because of Turkey's role in two wars in Syria and Libya. Ideological battles fought over the airwaves are not limited to news reporting or political rhetoric. Entertainment informs audiences. It too shapes hearts and minds. By tapping into a fascination for the Ottoman era, Turkish dizzies have grown into an export industry, a cultural weapon for a country out to resurrect its history, if not its empire. <laughs>